Matityahu, Matthew 6. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore when you do your alms, do not sound a shofar before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Amen, I say unto you, they have at their reward. But when you do alms, let not your left hand know at what your right hand does, that your alms may be in secret, and your father, which sees in secret himself, shall reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Amen, I say unto you, they have at their reward. But you, when you pray, enter into your closet, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father which is in secret, and your Father which sees in secret shall reward you openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knows what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father, who established Yahshua in the heavens, exalted is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in the heavens. Give us this day our daily eth bread, and forgive us our transgressions, as we forgive those who transgress against us. And lead us not into the evil inclination, but deliver us from the outer darkness. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their transgressions, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Amen, I say unto you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that you appear not unto men to fast, but unto your Father which is in secret, and your Father which sees in secret shall reward you openly. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If, therefore, your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. But if your eye be evil, your whole body shall be full of darkness. If, therefore, the light that is in you be darkness, how great is that darkness! No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and hath love the other, or else he will hold to the one, and despise the other. 
Ye cannot serve Yah and Mammon. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than food, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Shalomah, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if Yah so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little belief? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the other nations seek. For your heavenly Father knows that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first at the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof.